action. It wasn't all work and no play for Hayden while shooting jumper in Egypt. Zayn goes back to where it all started. Tanya, the majestic pyramids around me are just one of the scenes in the new movie that marked the beginning of Hayden's new relationship. Christensen's character in Jumper is capable of teleporting around the world, allowing him to make a big impression on his romantic interest, Rachel Bilson. Take a deep breath. In the film, he teleports Bilson to the Coliseum for their first date. It's a very romantic first date to go on. What, what kind of stuff have you done in real life that might warrant the romantic uh, title? Nothing that can compare to that. No? No. <laughs> well, I guess in real life, you know, that didn't happen. Rumor has it Rachel and Hayden began dating last spring after the young Jedi began using his skills to win over Bilson. What's the closest attempt that a guy has made in real life to try to, to woo Impress? you? Impress? Yeah. Um, I don't know, I think even really cool, thoughtful, you know, handmade presents that have been amazing. I like to make things, so I'll, I'll make things for somebody. And, you know, I, I, I uh, made my girlfriend a swing. Oh, which really? I thought was, you know, a nice gesture. How long ago was that? Uh, that was not too long ago. That was probably half a year ago, I guess. Hmm, so could this be the homemade gift Rachel's talking about? It's hanging at Hayden's Markham, Ontario homestead. Is there anything carved on it? There might be. Oh, there, there is? There might be. So if we go to the farm and we see the carving. Yeah, you know. But Christensen's family farm wasn't the only place the young stars ventured while shooting in Toronto. To be honest, when we were filming, we didn't really have that much time off, which was, you know, a bit of a disappointment because I was filming at home. It was my first time getting to film, you know, in Toronto. But I, I took Rachel to a place called uh, Roberto's. Yeah. Uh, it's a nice family-run Italian restaurant on Yonge Street. Uh, some of the best food in Toronto. Keep it rolling.